What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of upcoming mods for Fallout 4. This is a series where I show you guys some different work in progress mods by mod authors in the community. I link everything down below. I really encourage you to click on some of those links, check out the Nexus page, endorse them, or in today's episode one of them is a Reddit thread. So definitely click on that, respond, upvote it, do whatever you do feel like. If you do enjoy my content, I encourage you to consider subscribing. We're really close to 100,000 subscribers and I'm pretty excited about that. But with all that being said, we'll just jump straight into it. So we're going to start it off with another update to the cyber light apartment this is something i did show you a lot of a while ago but it's actually been a bit since we did get any updates to this mod this is by bloodmeat08 he's the person that did release the vault tech mpl that was a port of a mod his own mod from fallout new vegas well now he is working on a hand cannon which is basically going to be a new pistol mod but that new pistol mod is going to come with an apartment it's a little bit different not something we typically see a housing mod coupled with a weapon mod regardless as you can see by these screenshots the apartment is coming along very nicely. He does say he's also working on a bunch of different custom objects for it. We do have a view of that gramophone. I believe it's actually going to come with a custom radio as well, which is pretty freaking cool. All around the apartment again is looking very sleek and cool. It definitely looks like something I would want to live in personally, which not that I can't say that for a lot of the apartments in Fallout 4, but a lot of the other mods are kind of run down and like something that's acceptable or fitting of a post-apocalyptic theme. This one definitely seems like something that is just nice in general. It has a really nice atmosphere to it and I'm still really curious to see how the gun is going to fit into the apartment. Are you just going to walk in and find it there on a table and that's it and then you just have a cool apartment also? I do certainly hope there's something a bit deeper than that but I guess only time will tell. So I do have a mod called Mega Merchants. Basically what this mod is aiming to do is overhaul the merchants you do see in Fallout 4. Merchants referring to both those merchants you do find in stationary locations like Diamond City Market as well as traveling merchants that you kind of just run into while playing the game. What this mod author is aiming to do is basically basically change the level list of these merchants so they have better clothing that's more fitting to their role and all around just makes them look a little bit more interesting. I think this is going to be pretty cool. I do hope he does a good job with this. He does say he wants to use a lot of vanilla assets so you don't really need to download any additional content but he may have a fancier version using outside assets in the future. I definitely support the outside asset idea but the reason I'm excited for a mod like this is that merchants are something you interact with all the time especially the stationary DC merchants. I have probably ran up to some of those guys over a hundred times in a very short span of time simply because you have to trade you have to sell your items it's an integral part to fallout as an experience and having them wear something different would go a long way it's a change you definitely would notice and if done well i think it could have a pretty big effect so we have a relatively simple one. This is going to be a classic knife concept. As you can see, it's aiming to add in one of the knives from one of the older Fallout games back before it was Fallout 3 and Bethesda's IP. Personally, I think this is really cool. The knife itself looks very kind of badass. It looks like something you'd want to slash someone down. I'm happy to see more melee weapon mods getting added. We really don't have a ton in that category whatsoever. And this definitely seems like since it does have a nostalgic effect to people that did play the older Fallouts and the fact that it just looks kind of cool is going to be a pretty cool one to download. Again, there's not too much to say here it is a knife that looks pretty cool and something that i would probably like to have on my load order less for me to use and more for me to find on enemies a few weeks ago, I did show you a guy working on a project of adding in some of the locations from Fallout New Vegas into Fallout 4. This is not to be confused with the other project aiming to add in a few locations from Fallout 3 into Fallout 4. This one, again, is by Sir Bumfrey Diggles. It's an interesting name, but regardless, now we do have Prim in Fallout 4. As you can see by these screenshots, he has done a pretty amazing job here. Even the first time, I thought his work was pretty high quality, especially if there's only one guy working on this. I don't have too many behind the scene details, but it definitely seems like he is doing all this alone, which definitely is pretty commendable. Prim is a very cool location from Fallout New Vegas. I imagine a lot of us do remember it. It was like one of those smaller towns you did enter in, I feel like, on the earlier side of the game, but did play a pretty integral role throughout the whole game. I think the screenshots really speak for themselves. There's only so much I could say about this. I'm not really sure about the scope of this mod. I don't know if he's trying to add in all of Fallout New Vegas. I know that'd be a huge achievement, but also a huge challenge. I actually think adding in some of these just specific locations could be almost a better idea. It takes a a lot of the expectations from users but also allow you to have a lot of the great aspects and nostalgia that is introduced by fallout new vegas that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video as always i do hope you guys enjoyed i thank you for watching and i hope to see you all next time later